How's it going, guys? I got a Facebook find here. This is a Harmony H600 Sovereign acoustic guitar, and uh, 140 bucks. A little bit lower of a price than you would expect for a 42-year-old guitar that's got solid wood body and uh, has a lot of good things going for it. So I assume there's probably going to be some issues with this guitar. Uh, right off the bat, if you look inside, you can see that you have a flamed maple on the inside, on the sides, and the front. So you can see here what they did is they basically stained flamed maple here on the back and on the side. And on the headstock, I believe that's the same wood there on the headstock. And the neck is a piece of mahogany. Very nice. And uh, the fretboard appears to be ebony. I had at least one person say that it was a dark rosewood, but to my eyes, it's ebony. And you can see the inlays are a little bit um, spruced up from the regular dots. You can also see, if you look carefully, that the inlay uh, precision is not quite what you would see today. But I don't care. I mean, that's, you know, only if you look close at you would notice that. And uh, it's kind of neat because if you look at the rosette here, it's actually like a, has like a three dimensional kind of abalone appearance. And they continued that same pattern all the way around the guitar, which is really nice. But it's not like overly blingy like you see on some of the modern guitars, which I appreciate. They also have it here um, surrounding the headstock. Very tiny little bit of this. 3d abalone mother of pearl looking stuff so it's pretty nice i mean this thing is really for the price i i'm i'm shocked and uh but here so we got some problems for sure at this price range right first thing i noticed you have a bunch of chips in the saddle probably something like impacted the guitar pushed the strings down really hard and chipped it or maybe over time it chipped i'm not sure and the, and the first time i tried playing it i noticed that when i bend notes the entire string is coming is moving around in the saddle and a matter of fact this one isn't even touching the saddle so good luck keeping that in tune holy crow so luckily this is an adjustable saddle so basically you just you can actually just tweak this to raise the saddle up until it comes in contact with the strings and then you can start to actually tune it and actually evaluate it the other thing that i noticed right off the bat it has a really high action and the reason it has a really high action and that's, and that's probably why somebody tried to lower the saddle is because it has a really strong forward bow. And the reason it has a strong forward bow is because the truss rod is, needs to be adjusted. So, I mean, you, you can see from here, the action is, uh, is way off the fretboard there. So the point is, whoever may have been trying to play this guitar, considering that the strings weren't even touching the saddle and the action was so high, would have probably found this guitar to be quite frustrating to play. And that's going to be, well, hopefully the truss rod functions. We're going to find that out in a minute. I'm going to adjust the truss rod. It actually came with a truss rod tool. It's just a, it's a metric Allen wrench. And see if I can get this neck straightened out a little bit, get that action lowered a little bit, raise up the saddle, and start to try to get this thing into the proper range. And I bet you it'll play a lot better. Because right now, you, it's, uh, yeah, it's not, not playing too good when considering that it's actually moving across the saddle when you bend notes. And honestly, the action being so high, um, causes a little bit of buzzing because you your your fingers aren't expecting to have to push that hard. When you play a, a properly adjusted guitar, you don't have to push that hard. So it takes a little adjustment. Again, someone who tried playing this probably would have been pretty frustrated. 